regardless of the day-to-day fluctuations in the price of crude, I think 2017 is going to be a pretty good year for the oil industry, especially the oil service plays and the pipeline operators. In part, that's because the Trump administration might as well put drill, baby, drill in big brass letters right here on the White House lawn. I mean, that's how pro-petroleum these guys are. Meanwhile, OPEC has cut production, and it's been meaningful, allowing oil to move back into the 50s, where it's a lot more profitable for our domestic companies to drill. Which brings me back to Core Labs, CLB, the company I always refer to as the scientists of the oil patch because they use their technology to analyze rock and fluids in oil reservoirs, something that helps their clients figure out where to drill and how best to increase production, even from old areas that we thought were finished. In short, more drilling means more business for Core Labs. Now, the company just reported to close, and they delivered a one-cent earnings beat off a 40-cent basis, higher than expected revenues, although the guidance for the next quarter was a bit light, but that's entirely because they expected to pay a different tax rate, but it's also seasonality here in this business. Stock didn't do much in after-hours trading, but I think that's because it had already run so dramatically going into the quarter. Keep in mind, Core Labs had already climbed from $96 in the night of the election to nearly $124 as of today's close. After that kind of move, you wouldn't be surprised if the stock sold off after the quarter, even with solid numbers, and these were very solid. I think things look good here. Let's take a closer look with frequent guest David Demsher, the chairman, president, and CEO of Core Labs, to learn more about the quarter and how his company's prospects are doing. Mr. Demsher, welcome back to Man Money. Hey, Jim, thanks for having us back on Mad Money, our 19th appearance on CNBC and our 14th appearance with you on Mad Money. Well, thank you, David. Thank you for remembering. And you know that we've been big believers that you would be a company that withstood this downturn without a problem. Clearly, from the stock price and from your return on invested capital you have, you predicted a V recovery. You predicted it'd be somewhere around here, maybe a few dollars lower. But are we still on target to go still higher, given the fact that maybe demand pickup and a supply cutback? Yeah, I, we believe so, Jim. If you look at the IEA numbers, they think that the demand is going to be up 1.4 million barrels in 2017 over the 1.3 million barrels that the increase was for 2016. Moreover, the OPEC cut of a million three forty four a thousand a million barrels a day is going to be very helpful. And remember, we also have countries that are headed for big declines again in 2017. That includes Mexico, Venezuela, Colombia, Angola, Kazakhstan, and Oman, just to mention a few. So higher we go from here as the energy complex gets tighter. We've had four consecutive months of worldwide draws on inventory, and we think December makes the fifth month. So the energy complex is tight, and it gets tighter. Energy prices go higher. Activity levels go higher. Core lab stock price goes higher. All right, let me give you a, a, a possible fly in the ointment. Are, is it possible that you are so good at what you do and you are in all the permit, you're in all the key bases in America, that you have been able to find far more oil than we thought that existed, so much more that we in this country may actually be impacting the price and keeping a lid on it because we can make so much more money with oil because of your technology, some others, that it's worth pumping the heck out of the place right now? Well, yes, yeah, certainly, uh, Jim, the U.S. did have an impact uh, over the last several years as production increased significantly from about 5.7 to about 9.7 million barrels a day. We've got to keep in mind a lot of these shale plays, the sweet spots have been drilled. So we've got to look at other technologies and techniques to get more oil out of maybe the tier one or tier two properties that are not in the sweet spot. And one of those has to be enhanced oil recovery in these unconventional tight oil reservoirs. Right now, recovery factors are about 9% on average from these oil-laden shales. Using some EOR technology that's being developed at CoreLab, we think we can increase that recovery factor from about 9% to mid-teens, maybe as high as 15%. That makes a whale of a difference on the return on invested capital for our clients. We've got six projects underway right now, some cutting-edge technology, so more stuff, good stuff to come from CoreLab. All right, well, let's use it, because you mentioned, you mentioned we happen to be very, very big fans of Pioneer uh, on the show. We've had Pioneer on a number of times, and you actually met, you call out Pioneer as a company that you're working with. Pioneer is fabulous acreage in the Permian. Are we, Pioneer has talked about how they have a very low break-even. Is, with that kind of discussion that you just mentioned, can the break-even fall even lower again? So our oil companies, we should no longer just say, ooh, 53, they're not making anything. 53, they could be minting money? 
I think that's right, Jim, at $53. I think you're seeing some nice return. Pioneer Natural Resources happens to be our, one of our most technologically sophisticated right. clients using this new technology, including some of these ER adventures that we're looking at. Uh, also, we had just signed an agreement with them and the old Hughes Research Lab, mm -hmm. HRL, to look at some machine learning uh, expert guidance for identifying better reservoirs out of their 800,000 acres that are present in the Permian Basin. All right, one last question. Uh, president Trump is, I say, the most pro-fossil fuel president that this nation has ever had. What does that mean for the oil business, and what could it mean for Core Labs if he stays true to that message? Well, I think uh, the amount of production and activity levels is going to go higher. Uh, for Core Lab, that's good news. Moreover, uh, Jim, I think he's interested in ramping up the offshore. If we look at one of the golden places to produce, it's in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico in the deep water. Activity levels there are at multi-year lows. I think that will change under the Trump administration, and deep water projects and technology is really right in the middle of the fairway for Core Laboratories. Boy, that would be huge, I've got to tell you. Well, once again, congratulations will be the highest if, of all the companies in your industry when it comes to return on invested capital, which is a really incredibly meaningful metric. Congratulations on a great quarter. David Dempster, Chairman, President, and CEO of Core Labs. Good to see you, sir. You're welcome, Jim. We'll see you next time. All right. I've got to tell you, if you believe like I do, that we're not going to see low 40s in oil, a company like this, which can help companies make money at $30 oil, $20 oil, well, it's going to be a winner. Mad Money's back in. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.